welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make oatmeal breakfast cookies. Now they don't have to just be for breakfast, they can be for any time of the day. And I love to travel with them as well, but I'm calling them breakfast cookies because this is literally what I eat almost every day. So I made this in my How Not To Die Daily Dozen Challenge video, and so many of you guys asked me how to make it, I thought I'd make a separate video just to show you. But this is literally gonna be the quickest video because it's so easy. I'm gonna mix all my ingredients here in a bowl, but I did line a baking sheet with parchment paper, preheat your oven for 350 degrees, and this literally takes no time at all. I make it every single morning. So you're gonna take half a cup of rolled oats. I have these extra thick rolled oats by uh, Bob's Red Mill. You can use whatever rolled oats you like, half a cup. You're gonna take one banana, that's ripe, and you're gonna mash it into your oatmeal. Okay, it's, that's like 50% of the work right there. So grab a fork, and you're literally gonna mash it into your oatmeal. And it will look like it, you might need like another banana, but it is enough if you just do one. I literally just woke up, so still in my, um, robe, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to make a breakfast recipe with you guys and show you how easy. You just keep mixing it until all of those rolled oats are kind of sticking together. Even after you think you should be done, just keep going with it. And it makes kind of like a paste for everything. That's the basis for your oatmeal cookie. Now you can add them several different ways, make them several different ways. You can add cacao nibs, you can add almond butter or peanut butter, you can add coconut flakes, raisins, whatever you want to personalize. This is how I make mine every day. Okay, and you'll see it'll start kind of not being like dough, but it starts pulling away from the bowl. And that's when you know you're done. I always take two tablespoons of flaxseed that's ground up every day and I just add that in there because I want to get my flaxseed in for the day. Again, you're just going to keep stirring, mini arm workout for the morning. And I always add cinnamon to mine and that's it, like super easy, like ridiculously easy. Now this will make about three decent sized cookies. And that's my portion for myself only in the morning. You can make yours um, double the recipe or triple the recipe if you want more, if you're serving your whole family, if you want some to save for later. They store really well. So I'm just gonna add some cinnamon. I just go until I cover it. And I'll show you the brand of cinnamon I use. And then you're just gonna keep incorporating. show you guys up close what it looks like before I put it into my baking sheet and make little cookies. So easy. This should win an award for being the easiest breakfast and best tasting one ever. So this is the consistency that you want it to be. It definitely holds up together and it's all mashed in. It's not the prettiest looking breakfast right now but we're gonna form it into our cookies. So I just formed them to make three nice little cookie shapes and you just puff them up so they're a little bit high on each end. And I'm just gonna bake them till they're nice and brown on the bottom. I'm gonna add some cinnamon to the top of them and just pop them in the oven at 350 for about five to 10 minutes. It's usually when your house smells like cinnamon or smells super good, um, but you know that they're ready to be taken out. I use this brand for cinnamon. I find that it's not really a strong cinnamon taste, so I can really add a lot onto it without um, it being super strong. So I really recommend this brand of cinnamon, this type. This is what they look like before going into the oven and super easy, this recipe. This only makes three of them, so make sure you're doubling that recipe if you're making it for more than one person. And I just added our cinnamon on top. Now I'm gonna pop it in for around 10 minutes. You'll know when the cookies are done when your whole house smells like amazingness. I swear it smells like banana, bread, kind of cooking. Um, so they come out, and you'll know they're also finished whenever 
it gets toasted on the bottom and they become more of like a uniformed shape so it's definitely like a cookie and like I said it makes the perfect breakfast so usually for breakfast I'll have these three and then I'll cut up maybe like an apple or strawberries or whatever fruit I have and put it on the side and it's satisfying I'm getting in a lot of those daily dozen or whole food plant-based items I need so good so I'm gonna enjoy this I'm gonna go and have um, my green tea, enjoy my three cookies, and get my day started. If you make those recipe, please let me know below. Um, let me know how you customized it. Like I said, you could do raisins or chocolate or a nut butter or anything you want to make them different. I love these as breakfast or a snack, but like I said, I eat these almost every day for breakfast. So. If you liked it, please leave me a comment below, like this video, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We're so close to getting to 2,000 subscribers, which is mind-blowing because I just started this channel in January. Um, I would love for you to be a part of our team. I have so many great ideas. I have so many videos that are going to be coming up very soon for summer, so you don't want to miss it. But thanks for watching. Bye.